Certified arborist and landscape pro Larry Kaplan is back to walk us through some things we need to know to address all of this winter damage. Good morning. Good morning. And what are we talking about? I mean, we've had some really severe cold weather and some crazy mild weather. That's correct. Um, I have been getting uh, a number of calls and people have been sending me pictures on email uh, on some of their evergreens, which are looking kind of puny. <laughs> and um, this was kind of surprise, but when you think about it, it was not unexpected. I got a couple pictures of some okay. of the things I've seen. Um, mainly, a lot of what we're seeing are things like uh, hollies, especially, you know, our evergreen hollies. Right, and beautiful um, trees. They are, they're a beautiful plant, but uh, people were calling because they just dropped their leaves. And um, I, I don't know how well this is showing up. Yeah, this is a good picture. This is a custom, one of my clients sent this to me. Uh, this is a, one of the shrub hollies. And just literally overnight, it dropped two thirds of its leaves. Um, and he was very concerned. Well, I guess. And um, we've also seen this on other plants as well. The next uh, picture, uh, shows uh, some damage on boxwoods. Now I've seen that. I've seen that before. Right. And both the leaf drop uh, as well as the browning of the evergreen tissue, this is caused by cold temperatures. Uh, I think, and this last picture here shows a close up of what the winter damage looks like. Basically, what happens is um, evergreen plants. Um, are losing moisture through their leaves. Even through the winter, even if it's freezing cold, they are still losing moisture. That's a process we call transpiration. My master gardener friends will remember <laughs> transpiration. Um, but um, what happens is when it's really cold and the ground freezes, the plant cannot replace the water that is lost through the Oh, I guess through that, that natural in a process. Exactly. And so what happens is is that on some of the plants the leaves will turn brown because they just basically dry out. We call that desiccation. Um, and so the leaves will turn brown and then they'll drop. With the hollies they never turned brown, they just dropped. And this was a survival practice of the plant to um, basically keep itself alive um, the, it, it's dropping leaves that are losing water because it doesn't want to lose more moisture than it can replace. So it just sheds those leaves. So is it, that's a good thing? Well, and from the, a necessary thing. It's right. a necessary thing from the plant standpoint. Now, is it a good thing? It, 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 from a landscape point of view, it, it's not very attractive and it is alarming. But it does not necessarily mean that the plant is dying. And uh, we'll be come, when we uh, come right, back, we'll come be back talking just a, a little bit about that. But um, basically, if you are seeing your evergreens dropping leaves, whether it's hollies, rhododendrons, uh, boxwoods, um, e even some of our pines and spruce are developing brown needles, and it's all the same thing. The the needles and leaves were drying out and the mo soil moisture could not be replaced. Well, he's gonna give us the good news of the bad news when we come back, so stick around with Larry Kaplan. We'll be